Well, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, you'll probably want to subscribe. I try and do one or two videos a week. Just click on the upper right hand corner and it'll take you to my 1998 Land Rover Discovery 1 playlist where you'll find more and more easy to do repairs that you can do to save yourself big money. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell. Believe it or not, this helps me continue making these videos. Hi you guys, welcome back. Well, I just finished putting in my uh, radiator fill tank in and just when I thought I was gonna be able to drive it around, I happened to warm up my vehicle and walked around it to make sure everything was looking good and my brake lights were on without me stepping on the brake pedal, but all my light bulbs were good. Well, come to find out, I may have a brake switch problem. So I ran down to the parts store, ordered a brake light switch, they overnighted it the next day Picked it up for about 35 bucks. Now I got to go under the dash and put this switch in. And if you're like me, I hate working under the dash. Anyway, let's get to work. Okay, here's the box that the part came in. Here's the serial number here. Now let's look at the part. Now this is the part that I took out. This is the bad part. The new one pretty much looks the same way. Now if you look at it closely, you'll see two tabs here. It's kind of where the switch indexes. Now when you put the switch in, the switch is gonna fit this way. And you'll figure that out when you get under there because it only goes in this way. So when you get under there, you won't probably won't be able to find it easy because the cruise control switch is right below it, right here. The brake switch is on top of that. Now, in order for you to take the switch out, you're gonna to have to move this plastic part forward. And what that does is unlock the switch so you'll be able to take it out. You need to move this thing forward first, otherwise you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to get this switch out. Okay, here's a mock-up. This white card paper is the brake pedal. And what you're gonna see is a square hole. Of course, the cruise control is on the bottom of the switch. And when you get under there, you're going to see the switch in the brake pedal. The white card with the square cutout is the brake pedal. Once you get underneath there, what you're going to do is you're going to pull this plastic cylinder outward. And what that does, it unlocks the switch so you can pull it out. Now remember, when you're pulling it out, it's kind of snapped in. So you're going to really unsnap it as on the way out. Okay, now you're going to take your new switch and you're going to plug it into the harness. When you plug it in, it only goes in one way. But just make sure it's snapped in correctly. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the switch into the square hole. You'll kind of hear it snap a little bit. But once you have it snapped into place, then you move this cylinder back in which locks the switch in position to the brake pedal. And that's it. Now you know how this stinking switch works. I had a hell of a time trying to figure out how to take this switch out. And I looked up and down YouTube to see if anybody had anything like this giving me this piece of information. And I didn't find anything. So let's go under the dash. Now there's not a lot of video that I have on this, but you have an idea now what it takes to take the switch out and put it back in. Okay, you may want to take some blankets with you and put it down on the floor there. Now let's look underneath. Now as I'm trying to get my camera positioned here, you're going to see the brake pedal right there, right where the red arrow's at. Next you have the cruise control switch. That's where the red arrow's at now. And right above that is the brake switch right there. Now you can see I've already taken it out. It was pretty hard to get a camera in there to show you how to you know do what I showed you but you can see I got it out and the, you can see the square hole now I'm trying to maneuver it out of the way to unplug it now once you maneuvered it out of the way you can start to unplug it and all you got to do is press these two tabs here just press the two and pull it out now again I'm trying to you know do three things at once and I can only do two because I only got two hands at least on this planet so what I did was just press the tabs and pull it out with the other hand once I got it unplugged, I plugged the new one in and then I just reversed the process. And again, since it's really tight and you really can't see with the camera, just follow the steps that I showed you earlier. Anyway, that's how you get it snapped in with the new one. And now all you got to do is just test it and see if it works. And now it looks like my brake lights work like they're supposed to. Other than the fact not knowing how the switch 
comes out, and the fact that I got to work on my back, it was pretty easy to do. It didn't require a lot of tools. I did use a screwdriver every now and then, but I hardly used it. Anyway, there you go. Now you know how to take a brake switch out and replace it. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.